A bill to open up more state money to religious organizations is headed to Governor Kevin Stitt's desk. I'm Shay Rossi. And I'm Sarah Whaley, glad you're with us here tonight. The bill is meant to clarify a section of the state constitution, but opponents say the real intention is to help churches in setting up their own religious charter schools. New at six, Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live in studio with why the bill passed despite bipartisan opposition, Rick. Well, some in the Oklahoma House say the bill is clearly a gift to the Catholic Church. Others say the church, any churches, are doing things the state won't and doesn't want to do in bettering the lives of Oklahomans. The old phrase separation of church and state was front and center Tuesday in the Oklahoma House of Representatives. Vote no, Madam Speaker, against this government bailout of exclusive churches. Senate Bill 404 seeks to clarify language in the state constitution that says public funds cannot be used for sectarian or religious purposes, language that voters upheld in a 2016 state question, and language that is now at the center of the Catholic Church's attempt to set up America's first religious charter school using Oklahoma taxpayer funds, St. Isidore of Seville. Replace the word gender, replace religion with the word gender in the bill, replace the word sex, the religion with the word sex in the bill, and this would be unthinkable to have a two-hour debate over. But when we talk about religion, somehow that's acceptable. Majority floor leader Republican John Eccles says 404 simply says an organization seeking state funds cannot be turned away simply because they are religious. He says the law would still prohibit taxpayer dollars from being spent for specific religious uses. This is clear as can be. You cannot discriminate solely based upon religious, uh, solely based upon religious belief. Some claim the bill was written by the Catholic Church hoping to make it easier for them to set up St. Isidore. Democrats and some Republicans also warned that money paid by people of all faiths would be used for things that may not welcome them or people could have their own tax dollars be used to discriminate against them. I keep hearing Ryan Walters hyperventilate and hallucinate about indoctrination. Well, I'm here to tell you I have found it. It is right here in this bill. Republican supporters say churches can do more to better society if the door to more funds were open to them, especially when it comes to children and the poor. Programs that nonprofits make available that are good, they're effective, they're proven, and yes, they're religious. If the bill is signed by Governor Stitt, it wouldn't take effect until November. Now keep in mind, that would not be in time for the virtual charter school board to take the vote on St. Isidore's charter application, which is next month. But there is hope that if this bill does pass and is signed by Stitt, this could encourage the board to approve the application since this bill has passed. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.